Hey, I was wondering, where do you find classical fine dining Italian downriver? Well, it's in my hometown and at Moro's on Allen Road, just west of Southfield. So let's get inside and see what they got. I'm here with our dining room captain of Moro's. Mark, how are you today, Good, sir? Chef. Pleasure's all mine. And mine. <laughs> Something very important here at Moro's, you were telling me. Well, you know, our salad is something that's uh, different than most places. When you go out to dine, usually your server just brings it out to you. You order your salad dressing, but here we have the original salad dressing, which is the vinegar and oil. What a great start to what's next to come out of the kitchen. I'm in the back kitchen with Chef David Galaro. Chef, how are you doing today? Yeah, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. We've got some things in common, don't we? Yes, we do. We both grew up in Allen Park. Yeah, go Jaguars 7-0. Sure. <laughs> there you go. What are you going to cook for me today? Uh, today I'm going to do the veal marcella. I'm going to saute some shrimp up for the shrimp scampi. I'm also going to make the homemade cannelloni, which is our house spent. Oh, delicious, delicious. Listen, I'm going to let you get going. I'm going to step back, and uh, you're going to start with uh, the veal marsala. The veal marsala. Do your thing, chef. Yes, sir. A dish very popular with the regulars at Moro's is veal marsala. Once chef heats up a pan, a combination of margarine and butter is warmed up. Veal medallions are dusted in flour, and excess flour is shaken off before being placed in the pan. Salt is sprinkled over the veal, along with fresh ground pepper. The medallion saute slowly as the edges begin to brown. Next, a series of ingredients are tossed in, starting with scallions, green peppers, and chopped mushrooms. The wine sauce begins to take shape as sherry and marsala are poured on top. Heat from the burner reduces the liquids as the veal continues to cook. At this stage, clear chicken stock is added. A little more time over the heat brings this dish to a finish. Once plated, these tender morsels soaked in sauce are ready to serve. Once the pan is heated, Chef ladles in a margarine and butter blend. Extra large butterfly cut shrimp fill up the pan. Next, a dash of salt goes on, then fresh ground pepper. Chopped fresh garlic is sprinkled in. Some more butter is added on. A lemon is squeezed over the top. White wine is added to finish the sauce as the shrimp are almost done. It's time to plate as fresh parsley caps off this old school favorite. Moro's makes her cannelloni by rolling homemade pasta very thin and then fill each piece with ground seasoned beef and veal. Before baking, each rolled up pasta is topped with mozzarella cheese. Once out of the oven, a thick spread of Milanese or red meat sauce is applied. This is a staple in traditional Italian cuisine. A second sauce, made from mushrooms and sherry, is added. A final bake is given to meld all the flavors of all the sauces together. After the baking is complete, a garnished parsley is sprinkled on signaling the dish is finished and ready to eat. We like to pride ourselves as a, as a place to come to, to treat yourself. You know, and it's, um, we, we're lucky to have a good base of clientele. We have a, a diffused lighting for a soft ambiance for delicate conversation. We have uh, served uh, generations who have been in business now for 30 years and have moved on to the first, second, third generations of anniversaries and birthdays and uh, all of life's occasions uh, we try to specialize in and make it nice for the customer because that's why they come Of course, to us, you know. of course. Okay, the Cherry's Jubilee. Uh, first thing we do is put the butter. Here we have brown sugar with a touch of the cornstarch because it's going to act as a thickening agent. The cherries jump right on here. We have the sweet being pitted cherries. Everything fresh, everything hot. Saute that a little bit. The rum. Just a little bit of the flaming brandy here. And then we flame it off. Now as we let that come together, the specialty item is the orange 
Now people think that we peel the orange to get the rind, to get the pulp to squeeze it in, but actually it's the rind that gives the flavoring to the dessert. which is a medley of fruits. But the Cherry's Jubilee is where it all started for uh, the table side. Squeeze it in. All right, very nice. You can see it's starting to come together now. It's starting to thicken up. Let it go for a few more moments and we'll serve it right up. I'd like to thank our newfound friends here at Moro's, a new jewel that we found for you here in Allen Park on Allen Road. Until next time, salute. Thank you.